Good morning. Today is Saturday in the 23rd week of Ordinary Time. Today we celebrate the commemoration of Cornelius and Cyprius, bishops and martyrs of the church. Our morning prayer begins on page 658. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Lord God, you are the strength of your people, a safe refuge for your anointed. Lift our eyes to your Son, enthroned on Calvary, and as we behold his meekness, shatter our earthly pride. For he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. How bright these glorious spirits shine whence all their wide array. How came they to this blissful seat of everlasting day? Lo, these are they from suffering great who came to realms of light, and in the blood of Christ have washed those robes that shine so bright. Now with triumphant palms they stand before the throne on high, and serve the God they love amidst the glories of the sky. The Lamb who dwells amid the throne shall o'er them still preside, feed them with nourishment divine and all their footsteps guide. In pastures green he'll lead his flock wherever where living streams appear, and God the Lord from every eye shall wipe off every tear. Our psalm today is taken from Psalm 2. Why are the nations so angry? Why do they waste their time with futile plans? The kings of the earth prepare for battle. The rulers plot together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Let us break their chains, they cry, and free ourselves from slavery to God. But the one who rules in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. Then in anger he rebukes them, terrifying them with his fierce fury. For the Lord declares, I have placed my chosen king on the throne in Jerusalem, on my holy mountain. The king proclaims the Lord's decree. The Lord said to me, You are my son. Today I have become your father. Only ask, and I will give you the nations as your inheritance, the whole earth as your possession. You will break them with an iron rod and smash them like clay pots. Now then, you kings, act wisely. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with the reverent fear and rejoice with trembling. Submit to God's royal son, or he will become angry and you will be destroyed in the midst of all your activities. For his anger flares up in an instant, but what joy for all who take refuge in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today is taken from the first letter of Peter. God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore support and strengthen you, and he will place you on a firm foundation. All power to him forever. I cried out to the Lord in my great trouble, and he answered me. I called to you from the land of the dead, and Lord, you heard me. You threw me into the ocean depths, and I sank down to the heart of the sea. The mighty waters engulfed me. I was buried beneath your wild and stormy waves. Then I said, O Lord, you have driven me from your presence, yet I will look once more towards your holy temple. I sank beneath the waves, and the waters closed over me. Seaweed wrapped itself around my head. I sank down to the very root of the mountain. I was imprisoned in the earth, whose gates locked shut forever. But you, O Lord, my God, snatched me from the jaws of death. As my life was slipping away, I remembered the Lord, and my earnest prayer went out to you in your holy temple. Those who worship false gods turn their backs on all God's mercies, but I will offer sacrifices to you with songs of praise. I will fulfill all my vows, for my salvation comes from the Lord alone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. As the martyrs and confessors suffered and died, bearing witness to your Son, so may we live in a spirit of true freedom. As they professed their faith, even unto death, so may we profess a pure and steadfast faith. 
as they offered up their lives to your service, so may we learn to sacrifice ourselves for the sake of others. As they serve their brothers and sisters in humility, so may we be conformed to Jesus, the suffering servant. As their entry into heaven was assured through the blood of the Lamb, so may we shine with the grace and spirit of our baptism. As they celebrate life in heaven, so may our dying brothers and sisters rejoice with you forever. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from the evil one. God our Father, today we celebrate the memory of Cornelius and Cyprian who gave their lives for you. Grant that their love for you even unto death may direct our gaze without wavering towards the light of your glory where they are united with the risen Christ, now and forever. Amen. From the rising of the sun into its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways, and our day in his peace. May souls the faithfully departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen.